Did you know Vietnam has 54 ethnic minority groups? Today, I'm going to show you a day in the life of a Thai group woman. This is Quyen, a white Thai ethnic woman. She usually wakes up at 5 a.m. when it's still dark outside. The first thing she does in the morning is going to the kitchen, making fire to boil water so that she can prepare breakfast for the whole family. She lives with her husband and two children in a bamboo house. Her parents-in-law live in another bamboo house that is right next to her family. In Thai culture, it's very common for a girl after getting married to live with or close to her husband's parents so that they can take care of each other. Oh, looks like grandpa is up and watching news right now. And here is grandma, she's helping Huyen cook the rice. I guess we're gonna have chicken for lunch. This is Zuyen, her oldest daughter, she's 11 years old. And Hung, her youngest son, 5-year-old, just woke up and he's clinging to grandma right now. Here's her husband, Nguyen. He's helping her prepare breakfast as well. Besides farming, which is their main job, her family just opened a homestay in Na Bai Phu Mo area, so their day is typically very busy. Also, Nguyen will be participating in a cooking competition. Are you ready, Nguyen? <laughs> ah, she uses animal fats for cooking instead of oil. In the morning, Thai people usually eat rice, eggs, and beans which contain a lot of carbs and protein so that they will stay full longer and have more energy to work for the whole day. Okay, so now they're having breakfast. I'm gonna go join them. These beans are called nyo nye, one of the highest nutritious foods that Thai people eat. They usually cook the beans with steamed sticky rice or mix soup. When eating, they add sugar just like this. Mmm. Mmm. They taste just like black beans in Hanoi. It's really good. Huyen's daughter is helping her clean the dishes, and Huyen goes to feed the chickens, sweep the floor, and water plants. After that, she goes uphill to harvest fresh vegetables. In the forest, vegetables are very fresh. This is Zhao Zun, an edible fern found near streams and rice fields. The locals use this type of vegetables to stir fry with beef or use them as medicine to treat smallpox, asthma, diarrhea, etc. Oh, Huyen, what are you doing? Ah, she is going to get Hoa Ban, which is a signature flower of Vietnam Northwestern regions. In Thai language, Ban means sweet and it symbolizes pure love. You can actually eat these flowers and they taste really good. Have you ever seen banana flowers? If not, here it is. Huyen is trying to poke the tree to get the flower so that she can make salad with it for the competition tonight. While Huyen is harvesting vegetables, let's see what other members in her family are doing. Here are Grandma and Hung. They are going uphill to feed their buffaloes and let them go into the forest to find more food. The way to go up there is quite steep and muddy. Sometimes, if you're unlucky, you can be bitten by leeches, which are very common in moist soil and tropical forests. So, if you go, make sure to prepare a pair of boots just like Hung. Grandpa is working at the Ba Um Hot Spring, which is a must-visit place when you come to Mok Cho. 
He's fixing the gate to welcome visitors this afternoon. Besides Ba Am Hot Spring, Tat Nang Waterfall is nearby destination that you should visit. Looks like Hung just got back home with Grandma. Now, he and his sister will be going to a stream near their house to swim. It's a great idea for a hot day like today. It looks like they're having so much fun. <laughs> Huyen's husband is making a sign for their homestay, and he also helps set up the beds for the guests. Hang Huyen, how many visitors do you have today? <laughs> Ah, so they will welcome almost 20 visitors to stay at their bamboo house today. The bamboo house is called Nya San, which is built high off the ground to avoid flood and wild animals. Inside their house, they painted the date when they started building the house, when they renovated, and when they finished it. Pretty cool, right? All the guests will stay together in Nya San, and the host will provide each guest a towel, a mattress, a pillow, a lamp to read, and a mosquito gnat, which is a must because I got bitten by mosquitoes like crazy on the first day. They also have curtains for privacy. Because it's a rural area, their Wi-Fi and the phone network are very weak. But it's okay, who would need to scroll social media all day when you can enjoy the beautiful scenery with your own eyes? Chi Huyen just finishes harvesting the vegetables and now she's getting ready to cook lunch and prepare for the competition today. Chi Huyen, what spices and ingredients did you use to marinate the chicken? À mình nướng gà ấy mình phải có mắc khén này, với lại hạt dổi để cho nó mùi nó thơm hơn. Mắc khén nó có cái vị cay cay hơn. À, còn cái hạt dổi nó nó cái mùi nó rất là nó thơm nó thơm nó mùi mùi khác với hạt mắc khén hạt dổi thì mình có thể trồng nhưng mà mắc khén thì nó mọc ở trong rừng mà. Since Huyen has a lot to prepare, her sister comes to help as well. Thai people are very family oriented and they always support each other. Ta da! Lunch is here. We have grilled chicken. Who wants chicken feet? Zun vegetables, stir fry with beef, fried rolls, and red dragon fruits for dessert. Drinking plays an important role in Thai culture. The local loves to treat their guests with their homemade wine and delicious food to show their hospitality. Bác ơi, bây giờ nói uh, xin chào tiếng Thái là gì ạ? À? Xin chào tiếng Thái gọi là mà ra mô. Mà ra mô. Mà ra mô. À thế ạ. Ờ ờ ờ. À mà ra mô. Ờ okay. I learned a new language today. <cười> After lunch, Huyen is putting on her Thai traditional dress to go to the cooking competition. What's the difference between white tie and black tie in terms of traditional clothes? À, à thái trắng thì được may cổ áo theo cổ đứng và còn à, thái đen thì à, cổ áo sẽ được may theo cổ trái tim ạ. I really love the piel scarf on your head. What's the story behind it? À, à cái chiếc khăn piêu này thì à, theo phong tục của người Thái thì mỗi người con gái à, bắt đầu từ lúc 10 tuổi sẽ à, À, tập theo cái khăn này để khi nào mà đi nhà chồng ấy thì sẽ đi tặng cho bố mẹ chồng ạ. The scarves also reflect the girls' talent and they keep Thai women's hair tidy while they working in the field, climbing mountains to collect vegetables or doing housework. With colorful patterns, the scarf peel is considered a spiritual god for each Thai ethnic minority girl. Quinn's husband just got all the ingredients from the market and helping her pack. Now, they're gonna move to the field to prepare the food and cook. Good luck, Chi Quinn. Go lên! Quinn's sister is preparing ta bình tộp, which is grilled freshwater fish. The herbs and spices needed to make ba bình tộp include coriander, green onion, dill, ginger, garlic, and chili, all chopped fine and mixed with salt. A key ingredient is mắc khén, a special kind of pepper found in Vietnam's northwestern forest. 
The way they grow the fish flat face down is so unique. Today is a very special day for them because the whole village, the whole community is preparing for the grand opening of Na Bai Phu Mo, community-based tourism. If you don't know what community-based tourism is, it provides visitors with an experience of local life in which local communities are directly involved in tourist activities and receive socio-economic benefits from tourism activities, which means your money will go directly to the local people, not to any organizations. The main purpose of community-based tourism is to help the local people lift out of poverty empower women and diversify their income beyond farming. They are usually guided by a non-governmental organization, NGO, to learn essential skills in tourism, such as customer service, marketing, budgeting, and other skills. They also take responsibility for protecting the natural resources, environment, and local culture. That's why you see the whole village is joining in and it's so much fun. Besides the cooking competition, they're going to have a lot of activities tonight, so stay tuned until the end. Sue dance is traditional dance art of the Thai ethnic minority people and is listed as intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. Oh, the food looks so good and they're bringing them out to the judges. I can't wait to try all of them. They're presenting the food right now. Let's see what they have. Grau pork cooked in kitchen ashes. Sticky rice and the red color comes from the leaves. Boiled chicken with lime leaves. Ba bing top. Blanched bamboo shoots. Bamboo shoot and rib soup, my favorite. Banana flower salad decorated with ban flowers. Zon vegetable stir fry with beef. And of course, their homemade wine. The judges and the people are tasting the foods. So far, so good. Now it's my turn to try them. I'm pretty impressed with Ba Bing Tou. It's smoky and very delicious. I have to say the boiled bamboo shoots are quite unique. They're sweet and bitter, but very fresh and crunchy. Let me taste other table's food, because why not? Oh, their bamboo shoots here are sour. Very interesting. Now is the time to announce the winner. I really hope Chi Huyen wins since she has been working so hard today. <laughs> Huyen didn't get any prize today, but it's okay. We had so much fun and she tried her best. That's all that matters. After that, we just drink all night dance around the bonfire, and participate in sap dance, which is a traditional dance that is shared by many ethnic minority groups to close the night. Hôm nay ngày của chị như thế nào ạ? À, hôm nay nói chung là khá mệt nhưng mà rất rất là vui ạ. À? Để được nấu cơm, nấu các món ăn cho mọi người thưởng thức. À. Du lịch cộng đồng thì đã giúp gì cho gia đình chị ạ? À, cái từ khi mà chị bắt đầu làm du lịch cộng đồng á, thì giúp cho chị à, kinh tế nhà chị phát triển hơn và cho chị à, tự tin trong à, cuộc sống với lại giao tiếp hơn. <cười> à. Chị thấy bản thân mình đã thay đổi gì nhiều trước khi và sau khi làm về cái du lịch cộng đồng này? À, trước khi mà chị chưa làm cái du lịch này á. Thì chị rất là rực rẻ Gặp mọi người cũng không hòa đồng với mọi người cho lắm Bởi vì là <cười> chưa chưa được thoải mái cho lắm Nhưng mà từ khi mà bắt đầu vào làm du lịch ấy, Thì chị gặp gỡ mọi người nhiều hơn Và được nói chuyện với mọi người nhiều hơn Cho nên là chị bây giờ chị đã thay đổi được cái phong cách sống của mình <cười> 
So Huyen is ready to go to bed right now because she's gonna have another busy day tomorrow. I am so glad that community-based tourism has a very positive impact on empowering women by letting them making decisions not only in their family but also in business. The woman's voice is heard, which is make me very, very happy. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you want to enjoy or experience the local lifestyle like this, don't forget to visit Na Bai Phu Mo. And I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And now it's late. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day.